In this video I'm going to demonstrate how we find the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix. So I've written the matrix equation inverse of matrix A multiplied by A equals the identity matrix and if matrix A is the element A, B, C, D, identity matrix of course, and I'm going to assume that this exists and we don't know the values of P, Q, R and S. That's the job. Let's find an expression for each of those in terms of A, B, C and D. So I'll begin by multiplying through. P times A plus Q times C would be the first element of this product. P times B plus Q times D. R times A plus S times C. R times B plus S times D would equal the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And from this, we can see that each element of this product must correspond to each element of the identity matrix. So I have four equations. PA plus QC must equal 1. Let's call this equation 1. Equation 2, PB plus QD must equal 0. RA plus SC must also equal 0 and RB plus SD must equal 1. Now how to go about solving these? Well let's look at the first two equations. We have P and Q. Um, A, B, C and D are given values so it's really we're trying to solve for P, Q, R and S. If I do Equation number one, subtract. Now I'd want to subtract a C over D multiplied by equation two. I'm looking here to eliminate Q. So let's write out what that would be. Equation one would be PA plus QC. Now if I multiply this constant here, I've got negative P, then B, and I've multiplied by the term C over D. Now I've got this one, it'll be negative. I've got Q and D, and I've multiplied by the term C over D. It would equal 1 from the first equation, subtract 0, multiplied by this C over D factor. So 0 times that doesn't really matter. This is the important bit here. D cancels with D, leaving QC minus QC. I've eliminated the term involving Q. I just have PA minus P times BC over D. So I'll factor the P out, leaving A minus BC over D equals 1. Writing this as AD over D minus BC over D. So multiplying by D to common denominator. And then I would have solved that P, by the time I have this as a common denominator and multiply to the other side, I have D over AD minus BC. That is the value that should be the first element in the first row, first column, in terms of the A, B, C and D values from our matrix. So we do this again, uh, eliminate P to solve for Q, then again twice here, and we'll have all four unknown values. So that's going to take a little bit of effort, but I can leave those ones for students as an exercise. It follows the same idea. Uh, and what's the result turn out to be? Well, without showing all the details, it's the same process. It turns out that Q, um, Q is equal to a negative B over AD minus BC. It turns out that C, uh, R, big pardon, is equal to negative C over AD minus BC. 
and it turns out that S is equal to A over AD minus BC. So if I write the original inverse matrix, replacing P, Q, R and S with these results, we would have that the inverse of matrix A was D over AD minus BC. Uh, it was negative B over AD minus BC. It was negative C over AD minus BC. And it was A over AD minus BC which of course is usually given as 1 over AD minus BC and then we have D negative B negative C and A more commonly written as the determinant of matrix A D negative B negative C A and that that's the rule that you probably would remember to find the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix. So that's the process to find the first element and you could easily follow the similar process with these equations that we wrote to eliminate and solve for Q and then R and then S. So you'd use the first two here to solve for Q and you'd use the third and the fourth one here twice, once to solve for R, once to solve for S.